If you get to the end of a really long life without ever once having felt crushingly depressed, you might not be paying attention. <laughs> something's broken and it can't ever be fixed. That trap door just swinging wide open. Fight or flight or stay as still as you can and I have been feeling that way for a long time. The reason that Blue Cross Blue Shield of course gave us this grant to come across the state is because Montana is still number one in the nation and has been for a long time in suicide completion. Some of those causes are things we can't change. For right now, the low population density and the amount of help that we have available uh, doesn't quite match up. Um, and there's lots of other things, right? The cowboy up mentality that we have in Montana, run the stigma of mental health um, and the ability to even talk about uh, whether or not mental health is comparable to physical health or how they affect each other. We're starting to try to change that with these type of violence. And then she would give a very detailed and accurate summary of the book. <laughs> it's on the back. There you go. Are you saying that a book, that this book, convinced people to take their own lives? Did you know that in the month after Marilyn Monroe's death by overdose, that the suicide rate in the United States spiked 12%? Anytime that suicide is front page news, or that a celebrity, or even a primetime television character takes their own life, there's a spike in suicide. It's called the Werther Effect after Gurdjieff's protagonist. Suicide is contagious. Three hundred and forty-one. The sound of babies in a quiet church. Five hundred and seventy-seven. Coffee and donuts. Mm -hmm. Sam sang the last song of the evening. Daniel Johnston, some things last a long time. I'd not heard it before, and it was the saddest and happiest song that I had ever heard. Some things last.
huge difference. You make the biggest difference because we don't have enough professionals and they want you to make the difference to get those people referred to the right things. And also teach mental health first aid for adults and for children or for youth. And so if you're interested in learning more about that, please get in touch with me. Mental health first aid for adults is how to recognize the signs and symptoms of mental illness, how to help in a crisis, such as suicide. It's really great training to have. Um, and it's meant to be able to do that for adults. And then the youth program is how to recognize the signs and symptoms and help a youth that's experiencing a crisis.